Welcome back to another Google AdMob Developer tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to test your ad units with Ad Inspector. This video assumes you know how to launch Ad Inspector. If not, check out our previous video on the topic. Let's get started on the main screen of our app, which requests an ad. An ad has been returned, so let's proceed to the Ad Units tab, which you will use to check your ad units are working as expected. You'll see ad units configured under your AdMob app. The list is sorted with the most recent ad request at the top. Each ad unit shows its name and its format. The right side has the ad response information. When the ad request returns an ad, as we just saw, you'll see fill with the ad network that filled the ad and the timestamp of when the ad request was made. When I launch the app, Code was executed in my main activity to request an ad for our ad unit. This is what is considered in-context testing, meaning actions in the app triggered an ad request. After the ad is returned, I can tap into the ad unit and see the SDK request log. Here is where you'll see details such as latency and the network that served the ad. There's also the option for out-of-context testing, where you can trigger an ad directly from Ad Inspector. My second banner ad is rather cumbersome to trigger in my app, so let me just click into the ad unit and then click Request Test Ad. Once the ad is loaded, you can press View to view the ad one time. You might want to use out-of-context testing if you have an ad that's hard to trigger, such as an ad that displays after a user completes a level in your game. Where possible, we recommend using in-context testing, as it is a more realistic test of how your app behaves. Out-of-context testing uses a default ad request object, which doesn't include any targeting parameters you may have set for your particular ad request. Along the way, you may see a no-fill associated with your ad unit. For my case, I think it's due to my poor network conditions as to why no ad was returned. When my network connection was restored, a banner ad was loaded. Now let me open Ad Inspector with my gesture to check what the actual issue was. Opening the ad's SDK request log confirms my suspicion that my poor network was the reason for the no-fill. Also, if you just created this ad unit, it may take time to propagate, and until then, it's possible you'll see a no-fill. Stay tuned for our next video, which focuses on how to verify your mediation adapters are installed correctly. Check out the resources in the description below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to AdMob for more technical content.